this might be one of the most Texas things I've seen. Look at this sunrise. So gorgeous. A little bit of mist here. And the Texas blue bonnets. Nothing like them. I love that color. This was actually a property where we had an ATV side-by-side -side race, and I'm the medic. Wee -woo, wee -woo, wee -woo. Don't you feel safer now? I'll save you. <laughs> so peaceful out here. I mean, it's just something about it that I find really soothing. And it just, oh. Taking the dogs to the end of the road for the garbage. I may need to question my sanity. <laughs> hey, any of you guys know how to drive a stick? Monty? Monty's got it. All right, I'll work clutch. All right, here we go. You guys having fun? All right. We are blazing trails today. Still having fun? And yeah, you're right. This smells like dog in here. It's not a bad thing. You guys smell like corn chips. That's actually comfortable back there. No, it's like you're uh, you're like a a panting lumbar support. It's good. See, we've got AC. <laughs> Monty was one of the easiest medical cases. Just needed to be fixed and fully vetted. Look at this. Cam. Oh, man. Fellow firefighter. Opens his heart and his home. Forever home. Monty. And if you remember Aurora, here's... A, <laughs> she's giving me the look. She's going into surgery. Came out beautifully. Bilateral femoral head ostectomy. Man. If you hear a hyperventilating pug, it's because I have a hyperventilating pug. But I just wanted you guys to see that she is starting to use these back legs. Aurora first blipped on our radar through Natalie Hyden, who helped resolve the rickets uh, with Aurora, and then Safe out of Austin really stepped up to help us out. Look at this. Say hi, Beans. <laughs> Sorry, I'm very focused. I don't want her pulling on them and no, they're doing fine. I'm in the right position. No, you don't want to turn muscle. They're chewing on each other's heads. It's okay. Yeah, they love each other. Getting there. Getting there. Looking good. Looking good. Now, we know the danger of volunteering at a shelter, but things like this can happen. He's the tiniest. Wow. Oh, he's, he's so, so Marky. So cute. Marky. His name's Marky. Hi, uh -huh. Marky. Isn't he hilarious? You hear me say it all the time. It takes a village to make a miracle like this happen. This little chupacabra is alive because of Wendy Ballard Rogers and Sharon Casper. Round the clock care, bottle feeding. Oh, oh. His brother's completely blind. Oh man. Was it see. from conjunctivitis or? Um, we think it's congenital. The mama had 13 and they were left in a box at the shelter. As What's the uh, missing hair for? Is it uh, sarcoptic know. mange or no, is it no, trauma? No, no, definitely not contagious. Originally they thought it was ringworm, but he's been no. treated. Yeah, it doesn't so. look like ringworm. Mm -mm, it's just got to come back. Little heart. I'm not even sure what you are. Yeah, I don't even know what you are. Christine's going to volunteer at the shelter. What's the worst that could happen? Yeah. What is happening here? I have kitten, we'll travel. Moon pie. I have to volunteer, he needs oh, to be you pet him for Little Moon Pie is what's called a singleton. He's the last of his litter and no mama. Busy day here at the refuge. All right, and who do we have in here? Oh, hi. And how did we come about these guys? So these were surrendered. They've never lived inside and their owner died. And that's oh. daughter and mama. They had to have hey. medicated baths and teeth cleaned. Hey. Hey. And Austin Humane Society is going to rescue them. Oh, man. Oh, Good work. Heartworm positive. heartworm positive. We can fix that. Everything's fixable. They're green boats. Yeah. We're so scared and shut down. No. So. Thank you, Christine. They came home for a weekend. Thank Get you. healthy. <laughs> I love you. Yeah, you, you are. <laughs> Bye, beautiful. traffic on the road today. 
Fire season's rapidly approaching and I'm clearing out a lot of Yopon. Just a lot of land clearing in my own special land clearing way. Oh, and this happened. Well, I took off one of my gloves. I have my little clip here, but uh, I didn't put it back on. Sit. Good girl. This glove? Find. I don't know where it is either. Find. Wow, y'all. It's been nine months. Nine months ago, Zena was surrendered at the Bastrop County Animal Shelter, not doing well. The very last of her litter, barely two pounds, really in rough shape. I'm just so proud of her. And so grateful. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Did you put good girl? <laughs> Let's see. Hey. Good girl. Come here. Bring it back. Good girl. Did you find? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, you sure did. Heck yeah. Loki, can you believe how smart that dog is? Can you believe it? Thank you. You know, as I age, this is gonna become a very good relationship. You think you can find a cell phone? Let me wipe your little boogers out of your eyes. Dog owners know what I'm talking about. Zena, you're a really good girl. I sure appreciate that. <laughs> that was amazing. Good girl. <laughs> I gotta tell you, if you ain't got a doggy, get a dog. Get get a cat. Get an animal. They they won't necessarily find your gloves, but they'll fill your heart. Do it. In rescue at our refuge, one of our favorite things is called foster failure. Little moon pie was being fostered. And guess what, chicken butt? Fried and grease want a piece? <laughs> they fell in love. Welcome to our cult. We're like Tupperware that poops. Now that I'm a full-time paid firefighter, I'm 48 hours on, 96 off. I get to spend more time really present. Oh, Puggy Pugstein doing very well. And by the way, this dog, her name is Gwen. And this is her new mom, Erin. She and her husband love to adopt senior dogs. Wow, what a great fit, congratulations. Most of us want to feel happier in our lives and, and I'm gonna pass on a secret. Find the miraculous of the everyday. E even if it's a alien looking inchworm like this, stop, take a moment and just marvel in it because it really is miraculous. Zena not only found my glove, she's she's helping clear the brush. Check this out. She's so proud. Look at her. I need this video. I don't, I don't think it's allergies. <laughs> I'm just so proud of Aurora, y'all. She did so well on her first PT visit. She's healing. I couldn't be happier. Oh, you are amazing. Everything she's been through and still has this great spirit. <laughs> You're such a good girl. 